Hi, Fenville Elementary. Welcome back. Hey, we get to read Stella Diaz again. I'm so excited. Remember last week when we read, we kind of got a feeling on how um, Stella felt about speech. She's a little embarrassed that she kind of stutters sometimes and says words wrong and sometimes speaks in Spanish because she doesn't know the words in English. But we also found out that she's really good at spelling and she did a spelling, or well, she's really good at math and they did it spelling bee style and she was up against Stanley. Pretty exciting, huh? We're gonna read chapter seven tonight. So in your books, open up to page 49 and let's get started. Nick has started basketball practice in the morning. So mom drops me off at school now. Who's Nick? Oh, that's right, that's Stella's brother. I miss walking with Nick, but I love riding in the car with mom. She always plays salsa music. We even dance in the car a little bit before school. Que tengas un buen día, she says, passing me my backpack and kissing my on the cheek. And you have the greatest day too, I reply. She hugs me super tight before I hop out of the car. Mom told Stella to have a great day. As I enter the school, I can still smell mom's perfume, which makes me feel cozy and safe. It's almost like I'm wearing her fresh laundry and lavender scent like a sophisticated grown-up, like a fancy grown-up. Then I notice Stanley out of the corner of my eye, and immediately I start feeling Roja. There she is, embarrassed again. I begin to power walk toward the front door, but Stanley apparently is also a fast walker. So I do the only thing I can think of. I run into the school office. Do you need anything, Stella? Asked Miss Green with a raised eyebrow. She's standing behind the front desk. Um, nothing, I just wanted to say hi, I said, and I smile while peeking out the window of the office. Aw, how sweet. Good morning, she replies, and she reaches into a jar. Here, take a lollipop, Stella. Those school secretaries are the sweetest people, aren't they? Thanks, I said, grabbing a cherry lollipop from her hands. I checked the window again. Phew, the coast is clear. So I say goodbye. Thankfully, we start with sustained reading in class. That means I can hide from Stanley and everyone else with a book in front of my face. I'm more mortified than usual. Mortified means the same as embarrassed. I'm used to the rest of the class thinking I'm odd, but from the way I've been acting, Stanley must think I'm the weirdest club ever. I take a small break from Fishes to read another biography about Jacques Cousteau. As interesting as Mr. Cousteau is, and trust me, he is, he invented the aqualung and the, which is the portable breathing device that scuba divers use. So that thing on the back right here, that's the aqualung. I keep thinking about Stanley, only a little bit. I just don't know what to say. Someone who is the best at everything, he's a fast runner. He can balance a spoon on his nose at lunch. He can play the drums in music class. He's new and has already made so many friends. I've been here forever and I only have Jenny and she's not even in my class. It's almost as if he has superpowers, magic, or is just really lucky. Whatever it is, I wish I could steal some. Then everything would be just so much easier. Fortunately, I don't have time to think too much because after sustained reading, we had a gym class with Coach Smith, who announces that we will be playing kickball. Ooh, that's fun. Boys versus girls, he says in a loud voice. His big voice matches his size. Coach Smith is the tallest person I know. In kindergarten, all I could see were his freckly knees when I was sitting crisscross applesauce on the ground. Drop up, he says, clapping his giant hands. The class divides up with the boys on one side and the girls on the other. The girls decide that. Michelle should be the team captain. Everyone knows that she's the best since she plays sports outside of school. Then we decide what order to go in. Michelle says, Stella, really good. Stella's really good at running, so she should go first. Ooh, that's a compliment. It's true. Every gym class, we get to run laps around the gym, and Coach Smith always puts on fun music to run to. And when Jenny and I were in the same class, we used to sing along, which slowed us down. Now that Jenny's in a different class, I run just, I run quietly and it turns out I can run faster than most of the girls and even a couple of the boys. I nod and smile at Michelle. I find that if 
I at least smile, people think that I'm nice and I don't really have to talk. As the game starts, I'm excited to get up to the plate, but then I see Stanley. He's the pitcher for the boys team. I freeze and I miss the ball when Stanley throws it at me. The girls groan. Michelle yells, just kick Stella. When Jessica Anders shouts, Stella stares, Stella stares. Do you think she's being nice or do you think she's teasing? She's kind of mean, isn't she? Everyone starts saying it too. And after three misses, I sit down on the grass by myself. I wish I could find the magic words to say it, to make everyone stop teasing me. When we get back to class, I stay by myself and raise or rest my head on my desk. It's almost lunchtime. At least that will be a break from this tough day. Class, before you go to lunch, Miss Bell says, standing up, I want to introduce a new ongoing project. It's on animals. You can choose any animal or favorite type of animal you want to research. Make sure it's an animal you really enjoy because we'll be working on this until spring. I lift my head. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. What's your prediction? What kind of animal do you think Stella loves the most that she's going to do? I bet it has something to do with fish. We can talk about it more after lunch, but here is the handout for now, she says, as she walks around to pass out the handout with details. Everyone starts talking about ideas for their project. I'm going to do bears, said Ben. You know, because of circus bears. Well, I'm doing birds, said Lauren, who smiles at me. Lauren is quiet like me. And sometimes we talk about Nancy Drew books. Jessica Anderson asked, what are you going to do, Stella? Her ponytail is swinging from side to side. I nervously reply, fishes. Yeah, makes sense, she whispers. Fish don't talk. They just stare. So Jessica's still picking on her. I groan and cover my face. Could this day get any worse? I'm so happy to see Jenny at lunch. I'm also glad to see that she's alone and not with Anna. Thank goodness too, because I need my best friend, especially on a day like today. We each bring our lunch, so we sit together right away. I tell her what happened during kickball. Jessica Anderson said I never speak and that I just stare and then everyone started saying it. You talk plenty around me, Jenny says, as she takes a bite of her Vietnamese sandwich. Vietnamese sandwiches are very yummy. They're made of soft French rolls with vegetables, tofu or meat, and mayo. Jenny brings me one sometimes for lunch. You can check out what the Vietnamese sandwich looks like on the board downstairs outside of the office by Mrs. Hapke. All of those cool new, new ideas are on that board. I know, I say offering her a Jimica stick. Jimica is sort of like a potato and watermelon mixed together. And it isn't very sweet. We, skip, we squeeze a bit of limon on it and that sweet spicy powder called picosito. Jenny grabs one and takes the world's smallest bite. Jenny likes seeing how many bites she can make in one carrot stick and other types of food. She's up to 37 in one carrot and 52 bites in a pretzel. That's tiny bites. Maybe we can write a whole list of things you can say, Jenny suggests after she takes another tiny bite of the Jamaica stick. Like, I'm glad the sun is out, I say, or that's a nice outfit. My mom says everyone likes a compliment. Totally, we can work on it on the playground during our recess. I've got my trusty journal, Jenny says. Jenny's journal has a big white tiger with sparkles on the cover. If she were still in my class, she would have done her animal project on tigers. Instead, her class is doing different countries for the, their long project. Of course, Jenny chose Vietnam. Jenny went to Vietnam last summer for a family reunion. She brought me back chapsticks and slippers. I promised her next time I went to Mexico, I'd bring her something special like an albrije, which is a little sculpture of an imaginary animal. Albrijes are simply beautiful with all different patterns and colors. During recess, we make a whole list of things that I can say until we get bored. I slump over as I look at the list. Jenny, I don't know if this is gonna help. It might. Jenny stands up and brings her fingers to her forehead. She has an idea. She lifts her arms into the air, spreads her fingers wide and says, I know you can use the power of deduction. Deduct what? 
I can't even say the word. There are too many letters. Deduction is something Sherlock Holmes says. Anyway, it's just asking questions. People love questions. You can ask them about their day or what they're doing. Then you'll know more about them, which means it'll be easier to talk to them. It's like your own personal game of 20 questions. Maybe, sounds easier said than done. She grabs my hand. Come on, let's go to the swings. We sit in the, in the swings and go as high as we can. Afterwards, Jenny hangs upside down from the jungle gym while I sit on top of it. Jenny is really brave and can do flips. I'm always too scared that I'll fall. She always looks so funny with her super straight black bangs hanging upside down. Come on, let's practice. Ask me questions, says Jenny as she pulls herself right side up again. I draw a blank. So I asked an easy one. Do you like dogs or cats? Stella, you know I like cats. Ask me a harder one, she says, lowering herself off the monkey bars. Presto, I have a good one. Who is Sherlock Holmes? Excellent one, Stella. You might want to remember that name, Sherlock Holmes, she says, jumping into the, onto the balance bars. Jenny then starts telling me all about Sherlock Holmes. He, how he is a famous detective from the series of books and how she recently watched part of Sherlock's Holmes movie at her cousin's house. From there, it's so easy coming up with more questions to ask Jenny, like about her cousins and what they do together. But then again, it's always easy to talk to Jenny. Even though I'm getting the hang of it, it's no mystery that what I really need is Jenny in my class. Do you think Stella will ever be comfortable talking to people? I sure hope so. Jenny's a good friend and gave her some good strategies today. And it was really cool that she practiced with her. Hopefully, we'll find out tomorrow and see if she, if this practice really works. All right, that's it for today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow night. Hopefully, you'll do great on your Kahoot tomorrow. Good luck. Bye.